What's up guys, Leopold the Brave here, and it's time to put Crash Bandicoot in Super Smash Bros. for the Nintendo Switch. We've got lots to go through, moves, music, and more, so let's not waste any time. First up is his moveset, or rather, just his special attacks, since his regular attacks will likely just be standard melee moves taken from Crash of the Titans. Just pause the video if you need more time to read all this. His standard special would be the Wumpa Fruit Bazooka from Crash Bandicoot Warped. Tapping the B button would shoot the Wumpa Fruit right away, but holding down the B button would allow him to tilt the stick to aim. His side special would allow him to throw various types of crates in reference to the Crash Bash battle mode. The stone crates would do regular damage, the TNT crates would be a timed explosive, and the Nitro Crates would explode on contact whether they hit walls, floors, or an opponent. They'd also likely come out in a certain order like Olimar's Pikmin. His up special would of course be his classic spin attack. Similar to Donkey Kong, he can spin around on the ground to attack his foes or use his spin as a recovery. Similar to Wii Fit Trainer though, repeatedly pressing the B button while doing this recovery would allow him to gain more height and distance. Then finally, his down special would be his Body Slam attack. And considering that in his own games, the Body Slam is strong enough to obliterate metal crates, this would do a lot of damage. Now you may have noticed a picture of Coco in his move list. That's because she'd make a great alternate costume for Crash. Crash would have his default outfit in three other colors, one of them having a darker orange color and green jeans in reference to fake Crash. He could also have his Japanese design as an alternate costume. Coco would have three skins, her default and two others, one of which being a dark black and purple color scheme in reference to Evil Coco, a character cut from Crash Twin Sanity. For those who want Crash and Smash, there's been lots of debate about what his final Smash should be. Running over players with a cart, summoning Aku Aku, well I think he should summon a Titan. And not just any Titan, the Scorporilla. Comparing it to Crash, it would be about the size of Giga Bowser, and its range would be even greater with its tail. Now for stages, I'm really hoping they don't pull a Sonic and just give him the generic first level. I'd really love to see Iceberg Lab from Crash to Insanity and the Time Twister from Crash Bandicoot Warped. I think all the cogs and wheels and moving platforms on conveyor belts would make the Iceberg Lab a really fun mobile stage. And in the Time Twister stage, platforms could disappear and reappear, completely rearranging as the stage goes on, similar to Entropy's boss battle there. For assist trophies, we could have Dingo Dial come in and recreate his boss battle from Crash Bandicoot Warped, standing in the center of a crystal barrier and firing fireballs from left to right. Just don't mess with him or he might explode. Aku Aku and Uka Uka could also recreate their own battle from Crash Bandicoot Warped, having the players get caught in the crossfire as they fire beams and create explosions. As for items, the TNT crate from Crash's side special could be its own item, similar to Diddy Kong's down special being the banana peel. Then we could have the time trial clock which stops time completely, but the effects wouldn't last as long as the regular timer item. Then finally is Cortex's hoverboard. We always see the mad scientist riding around on this thing, so now it's our turn. Think of it as a controllable platform, that way you'll be allowed to use ground attacks and smash attacks even when you're off stage. Cool ideas, huh? But I think it's about time to end it. To finish off this video, I'll show the 8 pieces of music I've chosen to represent Crash Bandicoot in Smash, and which ones would fit Smash Brothers the best. And you might want to stick around for that too. Something interesting may come after.